Volvo has returned to the hot hatch market. Meet the new Volvo hot hatch. I know people in Volvo are going to disagree with me because I, I'm calling this a hot hatch. But to me, this is really a hot hatch. In Volvo speak, it's a compact premium crossover. I say it's a hot hatch because why? Under four seconds, 3.5 seconds, zero to 100 acceleration time. Okay, lots of torque lots of you know hot hatch design elements look at this flat fenders i like this chunky door handles flat here again nice electric front why i say electric front because there's no grill the moment you see a flat front with no grill you know it's an electric car so this is the new volvo ex30 in showrooms now of course, this car is camouflaged because we took it out a few days before its launch. And it's got enough space for you to go on a weekend break, on a short holiday. There's another storage area there. Now let's take a look inside. So it's a full electric car and we confirm it by showing you this charging point. Get in, we'll get in on the passenger side. There's a reason for that. You start off with this very interesting new center infotainment system and control unit. Why I say control unit? Because actually the driver doesn't get an instrument cluster. Instead, all the driver information is up here okay infotainment navigation everything is here and you got all your controls here very simple very easy very straightforward and then over here you got your buttons to use for your power window as you can see you can lower and raise your power window okay it's here now if you're going to use your rear power window you just press rear and you work the rear power window so you don't have four switches you have two switches but you have a button to control lock and unlock cup holders underneath the cup holders you got a nice storage area very interestingly designed i'll tell you why because you can open them up open the cover up and there's a bottom storage touching your card is sitting there you can put small items you can put handphones uh, whatever else you got your charging points here two charging points you got your smartphone charging there and you got no driver instrument cluster like i said instead you got a little you know technology unit here to watch you to make sure that the driver is alert there's a little light in there you can see it at night but you won't be able to see it during the day let's get into the driver's seat but before that let me show you this interesting aircon vents which actually send cooling to the back very effectively. And I like this door handle. Check out this door handle. Nice. So time to get into the rear seat. If you look at the design, you'll say, hey, this is going to be a little bit tight at the back. Okay, so I'm five feet six and I'm getting in without any problem. I've got decent size leg room at the back. Okay, it's not a huge vehicle, but decent size. Shut the door. Full length sunroof. It's, you can't open it. You know, it's just there. Can't open it, but that's fine. And the dashboard. Very simple. Very clean. Very um, well designed. Instrument. Dashboard and functionality now you probably see here the word Harman Kardon that's a sound bar can you believe it that's a sound bar running across the front of the dashboard so you might think is the sound system good enough I'm not going to tell you anything 
go to a showroom, try it out for yourself. It's actually quite good. The way they've done it, it's actually quite interesting because once you have a sound bar that's sending sound to the whole cabin space, you don't have speakers on the doors and instead you have really large cubby holes to store items. So you've got a lot of storage space even down here. Can you see? So Volvo has designed this very effectively. So let's get into the driver's seat. But before that, I'll show you how to get into this Volvo. Very interesting key card. All you do is walk up to the car, tap it, car opens up. Yep, that's how easy it is. EX30 to confirm which car you're in, in case you forgot. Now, like we said earlier, infotainment system, very interesting. We'll leave the key card down here as I explain more. Um, the screen is big enough. It's it's not too high, so you can actually see right across the dash. You've got your gear shifter here. Put it into P. And you're ready to go. That's how easy it is to go and drive this Volvo. We've seen how it drives already. So that's no surprise. But I want to show you some little functions in this car. So your lights and signal lights are here. Your wipers are all here. But in the screen, this is the center of everything. Now, did you see the glove box? You probably didn't. Because why? This car has got a very unusual location for the glove box. So if you look down here, you might think, oh, is this the glove box? Oh, yeah. Where, where is it? So, how do you open it? There's no little latch or anything. What Volvo has done is, very ingenious, very simple, very cost-effective. They've put the glove box opening on the, on the center screen. So, all you have to do is press this. And the glove box opens. Now, want to see it again? There you have it. So, the glove box is sitting inside here. Smart, right? And in right in the middle because I don't think there's ever been another car that has a glove box in the center and with its open and closing function here. So that's one of the interesting features. So you want to operate your aircon, your blower, you know. Uh, by the way, it goes down to a cool 15 degrees. That's how cold it gets. So our weather, no problem. Now, when you want to adjust the side view mirrors, you'll notice that the side view mirrors... No buttons, no toggle switches, nothing. It's all done here. So all you need to do is press this. Say right hand side, go to your steering wheel. And you can adjust your side view mirror easily. Technology, this is what it's all about. Left side, same thing. Okay. You want to fold your mirrors. You press fold and the mirrors will fold. Close. Okay, so you've got all your functions here. Can you see? Your wipers, your lights, even your driver's seat adjustment. You can save it so different drivers get in and out. Everything is here. Central locking, rear boot opening, and your ambient lighting. So, Volvo has put everything neatly into one control unit. And, it's, like I said earlier, twice, instead of having an instrument cluster here, and confusing a lot of people they've put it up here right up here at the top bar you can see what gear how many kilometers you can go what's your battery driving distance your lights are on or not your rough kilometers everything everything is here whether you're using your seat belt or not everything is here so this is the new volvo way of entertaining its cabin uh passengers you know usage user experience I think I've said enough. All that's left is for you to go into a showroom and take a closer look at this brand new compact SUV, which I call a hot hatch from Volvo.